one insanity in New York City, this time in Harlem. This time, the shots fired at an MTA bus. A 14-year-old passenger was grazed in the head, and the bus driver saved only by the protective glass around him. So who did this and why? Those are the questions as the shooter remains on the run. I was news reporter Dan Krauth live at the scene with this very close call, Dan. Bill, the closest of calls here. Right now, police are searching for surveillance video trying to track down this gunman, a gunman who fired two shots, striking a teenager in the side of the head and almost striking a bus driver who was behind the wheel. The shattered window shows just how bad this could have been. The driver of the M1 bus stopped to pick up a 14-year-old at 10 this morning when the gunman opened fire on the teen as he was getting on board. This young man uh, was really blessed. He was blessed uh, to not have the bullet penetrate his skull. The director of Street Corner Services, a Stop the Violence nonprofit, visited him in the hospital today and says he's going to be okay. The only surprise was not that there was a shooting, but that it was happening so early. And this right here is what helped protect the life of the 39-year-old driver. A thin metal bar came between him and the bullet. My heart goes out to the bus operator. You know, what a traumatic experience this must have been. And out of the grace of God, we, have, we know that uh, he did not suffer any physical injuries. Police say as of now, it does not appear to be a random act of violence. The teen was the target. It looks intentional to me right now at this time. Do you think this is gang related? Uh, it's definitely an avenue we're going to investigate further on. Shootings involving children and teens are up in New York City by a lot. More than 100 non fatal shootings involving kids under the age of 17 have happened so far this year. That's more than double the amount from 2019. And I can say that youth violence is a high priority for the NYPD. As a matter of fact, most of the uh, members of the service behind me, we just returned from a youth violence strategy meeting held this morning by the chief of department at One Police Plaza. So while this shooting was taking place here on 139th Street, police officers were inside a room trying to figure out how to prevent situations like this from happening in the first place.